our weight room. Uh, I think the coach core teaches those guys in terms of never flinching, never giving in. Uh, that that you know, all you have to do as a defense coordinator is just call call defenses. But but the attitude it takes to dominate in the red zone comes from our strength program. How did you guys handle you know not really being sure what their quarterback was going to do or how they would play with him? You know, we just you 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 try to get a, an idea of what he, he was capable of. But I felt like both teams would, would find out when the game started. Um, but we also know that that um, that they they've got a long body of work in terms of what they would do. And it still all stopped with stopping the run, which we did better in the first half than we did in the second half. And, and you know, when, when you do a good job stopping the run, it, it puts a strain on any quarterback in any offense. And then in the second half, when they ran the ball better, they were able to do some more things. Did but, you think Redmond's interception kind of squashed their momentum and even White's confidence there because it just really kind of depleted him a little while? Certainly both teams knew that it was important to start fast. So there's no doubt that they had, we had had some plays. We felt like we really were in position to make some plays on that first drive before that play. Um, including Will on interception. So I, I, there's no doubt with both teams in this game, whoever kind of had the first big break in the game was going to have an advantage in their offense, took the ball and went right down the score. When Auburn got down to goal line, third and goal, and you called timeout when they changed quarterbacks. What right. are you all talking about? This well, because they had presented something that we hadn't seen. Um, so we knew it was because at the end of the half we had the timeouts. Uh, Coach Mullen made a great call right there. That's we needed it. We were going to let them line up and see what the formation was, and and uh, and then and, you know and then and then we obviously got some fortune with the with the, the bobble snap on the next play. Did you think that White was coming back on the field at that point? Well, we had we we had at that point after the timeout we had a contingency on both, but at least we had a chance to coach our kids up on what they were going to do with uh, with the six in the game. At the break, what was just the message to the team at halftime? You know, can we find a killer instinct? You know, you know every team you every team. Every year is a new year, and every team has to develop their own personality. So for us to be uh, up ahead at the half, could we kind of make a play in the third quarter to distance ourselves, which we, we didn't. Um, you know, the game, they, you know, the, to their credit, they fought back, which we thought they would in the third quarter. And, and you know, and the game was in doubt until the onside kick really went out of bounds. Big picture, uh, I don't know, to get back to even an SEC play, does it feel like you kind of get back in the race, so to speak? Well, there's no doubt. and But, but it, it doesn't it doesn't matter because either way, next week there's a great challenge, you know. But certainly you like to see the reward for our guys' hard work and for their perseverance. Um, but you, you you got about 24 hours to enjoy it because you got to go back on the road. Any, any, any road conference win in any league is always special and it's made to be savored.